Have you ever heard the saying, the trend is your friend until it ends? Well, very few people know exactly when a trend is going to end. However, in this chapter, we will be discussing what exactly a trend is, and we'll be looking at what signs there are that a trend is about to end. Before we get stuck into the principles of price behavior, I'd like to take a moment talking to you about why technical analysis is so important for the private trader. Not only is it relatively easy to understand and apply in the market, but the patterns that you're learning about, they are applicable whether you are an exceptionally short-term trader, trading off a one-minute or five-minute chart, as well as when you're trading the longer term time frames using an hourly chart or even a daily chart. And the fact of the matter is that technical analysis is applicable in all time frames. And it's those principles that are the driving force of the markets. And they should be understood and mastered because it is unlikely that you will ever find a winning trading strategy that doesn't have some of these principles as its main driver behind the rules of the trading strategy. So let's take a look at what those principles behind price behavior are. Trend, a trend has a higher probability of continuation than of reversing. Another rule is that momentum precedes price. The third rule is that trends, they tend to end in a climax. And fourth and finally, markets, they'll alternate between expanding its range and contracting their range. A trend has a higher probability of continuation than reversal. As a matter of fact, Newton's first law of motion states that once an object sets into motion, it tends to stay in motion, and the same applies to the financial markets. The financial markets trend, and the trend tends to last a lot longer than most traders expect, even so-called experts. One of the strongest performing segments of technical trading in terms of returns on investments if not the strongest, is the trend follower. The trend follower, they believe that trends develop and persist, and no one truly knows when a trend will cease. A trend follower will never get in at the low, and they'll never get out at the top either. However, what they will do is they will carry on buying as long as the trend carries on going up. The trend continues to test out as the strongest component in any winning strategy when it comes to gaining an edge or an advantage in the markets. Take a look at the chart in front of you. This is a chart of Record Benkaiser over a five year period. But if I hadn't told you that the stock's name was Record Benkaiser, would that have made any difference to you? Is this not a chart going up? Is this not a chart that is trending higher? Exactly. And what is so profound about technical analysis is that it doesn't make a fundamental judgment of price earnings or any other fundamental indicator that you may think of. It simply just makes an objective judgment of is this stock or is this currency or is this commodity trending up or is it trending down? And as you can see on this chart, it's trending up. So therefore, you want to be a buyer. And at no point during this five year period was there any danger of this trend reversing. Momentum calculations, they measure the rate of change in a market. When momentum makes a new high or a new low, it is likely that price has yet to make a new high or a new low. And in this respect, momentum is a leading indicator as opposed to, for example, a lagging indicator. A lagging indicator could be something such as a moving average, but momentum indicator is a leading indicator. In my trading strategy, this is a profoundly important technique, and I will endeavor to make sure that you are fully explained how momentum works in your day-to-day -day trading. We will discuss techniques that endeavor to place the trader in the market after the first reaction following a momentum high or momentum low. And while it may not work every time, the techniques work on the thesis that once a trend is in motion, it tends to stay in motion. And the job of the trader is to establish positions in the direction of the primary trend. We'll use other techniques such as range expansion and volume to confirm that momentum is confirming higher or lower prices. 
New momentum highs or lows confirmed by a range expansion is indicative of higher or lower prices to come. We'll also learn to read divergence between price and momentum. As a matter of fact, the price chart that you're looking at right now, you can clearly see how price is making a new high, but momentum is making what is known as a lower high, thereby indicating that the price chart has almost come to a standstill and a reversal is more likely than a continuation of the trend. Trends, they tend to end in a climax. It doesn't necessarily mean that they will end in a climax, but they often do. A trend will continue until it reaches a buying or selling climax. And this is often associated with a stock or a currency hitting an old high or an old low. And that is commonly known as support and resistance. And this often happens as a surge of volume comes into the market as those who are on the wrong side of the market are scrambling to cover their positions, whether they are long positions or short positions. A trend combination tends to be associated with increased volatility and a surge in volume. Usually there's also an increase in the length of the bars that you are seeing. That's called a range expansion. But be careful here. Don't mistake a culmination in a trend with a trend reversal. Just because a trend is culminating doesn't mean that the market will reverse in the other direction. The market often begins a process of backing and filling, testing the old highs and the most recent range lows. Even in long-term uptrends spanning years, you'll have examples of assets going into sideways dormant states for a while. While we often associate trends with ending a climax, you should also know that markets tend to move much further than people expect. And often the price overshoots to the point where even the experts are surprised. The market will then enter a phase where the market participants are getting used to the new prices. Although in rare cases, it may reverse, may reverse back down again. A recent case was when oil hit our peak of $147, but rather than staying put at $147, it declined all the way back down again into the $60 range. It is rare though that after a big uptrend, the market will revert immediately into a downtrend, but it does happen. When it happens, it's called a V reversal. There are times when the market makes a V reversal. It is signified by a spike higher to new highs or some cases to spike low to new lows and the market then immediately begins to travel in the opposite direction. It is often associated with news items causing a mixed response in a market or when bull markets or bear markets end. In particular, you will often see V reversals or spike reversals during the trading day. The hallmark of a V reversal is that the market reverses direction without any form of consolidation. There's no hesitation. There's simply just a shift in power from a bullish force to a bearish force or vice versa. Trading V reversals can be very profitable. And we will be looking at some of the signs that a V reversal is on the way. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. As a trader, I don't have one strategy that fits all markets. I wish that was the case, but it isn't. Because the market's character changes from one moment to the next moment. Sometimes it pays off being a trend follower. And sometimes being a trend follower means that you carry on losing on your positions, getting chopped out of positions because the market enters into a range. The first condition is when a market is trading within a range. And the second condition is the market is expanding or trending. And on the charts that I have provided for you, you'll see examples of both. There are a host of tools that traders use to take positions in the two conditions. But they still require that you as a trader have the ability to change between two sets of circumstances. A trader needs to be alert when trading a range bound market because it is impossible to forecast when a market once again will be expanding. And here we'll be looking at techniques designed to trade both kinds of markets, not just one set of circumstances, but both kinds of circumstances. Take a look at the chart on the screen. 
This is a chart of the gold-silver index. For months, it paid off, selling the old highs and buying the new lows, as the market was in a range. But, but towards the end of the year, it began to trade above the old highs. And so this market went from being range-bound to being a trending market. And one of the hallmarks of a good trader is what I call behavior modification. The ability to change your mind in the face of changing circumstances. A chart is a chart. A chart will be range bound or it will be trending. But how fast are you at changing your mind in the face of changing circumstances? The better you are, the faster you will be able to adapt to a new set of circumstances.